Hello! Today we're going to go on the journey of a sales funnel. Many people who have started an online business are wondering, do I even need a sales funnel? Do I need one for my business? My answer to you is yes, especially if you're online. If you've never built a sales funnel before, you're not even sure where to begin, there is a link below. I have a free course where you can actually build a sales funnel and learn what the mechanics are and hands on all that and it's free. So definitely click the link below if you've never built a funnel before. Now what I'm going to do before we talk about a sales funnel is I'm going to take you on the journey of a brick and mortar sales and then you're going to see how it relates. Marketing is sales and you do it every single day of your life and you probably don't even realize it. So if we look at it this way, let's imagine you have a store, okay, a retail store. And what happens is customers come in to that store and something has enticed them to come in. Maybe they came in because they needed something. Maybe they came in because they saw that you were offering something in the window. Maybe there's a sale. Uh, maybe there's um, a discount on something. If you buy, you know, three, you get one free stuff like that. Um, or maybe you're just coming in because yeah, you're just interested. So people walk into stores for various reasons, but this store is like the storefront of your business online. You are doing the same thing. You're trying to get people to come in and see what you have to offer. So once they come in, they usually just start to browse. Think of yourself, you go in a store, you're looking at clothes, you're browsing. Maybe you have a specific item in mind that you're looking for. Maybe you don't, but you're browsing, you're looking at things. Now to help that customer buy something, a good salesperson will come over and talk to them and build a relationship and offer their help. They're not trying to sell them something they don't need. They're trying to find out what is it that you're looking for and I will help you find it. Here's a lady offering a jacket. Maybe she was looking for a certain type of coat, maybe a certain color, and the salesperson comes up and says, here, let me help you find that. I don't know about you, but I love it when a salesperson comes up to me and genuinely helps me. I don't like it when I feel like I'm being um, pushed and it's salesy, but a good salesperson honestly and truly are there to help you. And that's the person that you wanna be in your sales funnel. So once you make the sale, um, the salesperson could offer an upsell. They could say, hey, this coat, we'll go back to that. This coat is really pretty. What do you think about this hat and a scarf to go with it? Maybe a pair of gloves. So they're upselling the person on more items that go with the item. And notice how they're all connected. The salesperson's not gonna say, hey, that coat looks really nice on you. Let's go over here and buy um, some bath towels. It's not even connected. So you always wanna make sure the journey um, stays connected in, in, a, in a reasonable fashion, okay? Now, a downsell, in a brick and mortar store is usually when you're up there at that register and maybe you just bought a battery and you look over and you see a whole rack over there, batteries and gum and all that. You've all been there coming out of Walmart, right? There's all those things. And how many times have you grabbed them just because they're there? And that's kind of what a downsell is, sell is in my mind is you're, you're just, you know, in that mood to shop and okay, I'll take that too. Um, and again, usually it, it applies to what you're you're selling. So that's kind of what a journey looks like in the in the brick and mortar. And real quick, here's another excellent easy example. How many of you have ever driven into McDonald's, okay? And you go because it's a dollar drink. They have that right now. A dollar for any size soft drink. And then when you get in line, even though that is what enticed you to come in, you might find out, "Hmm, I am kind of hungry." And then you end up buying a meal to go with that dollar drink. So that's what enticed you to come in and then you end up buying more. That's what your sales funnel is going to do. Now let's look at an online sales funnel. How does that work? This is a, an example. There's all kinds of examples online if you Google it, but a funnel is that exactly that. It's like everybody comes in at the top and, and you'll notice that each step of the way, not everybody comes all the way down to make the sale. Some people drop out at different points. So in your sales funnel, you're going to use a lead magnet to get people in and people might get in and go, no, this isn't for me. You know, I'm not connecting with this person or maybe what they're offering isn't for me. And they kind of remove themselves and that's okay. Um, but then other people will keep on getting to know you. And then before you know it, they're buying from you. Let me give you an example. Here's an opt-in page or a lead magnet, fat, lost, cheap, cheap. 
Now, who wouldn't want a fat loss cheat sheet? Now, it's probably just a PDF that has some tips on how you can lose fat. Probably things you've heard a thousand times because you have to put action behind it. But how many of us would probably sign up for that cheat sheet? Because there's gotta be that magic formula out there, right? So you give your email address and you give your name, you click the button, you get your fat loss cheat sheet. And then before you know it, you're in somebody's funnel. So here you have your free item once they get your name you're in this email sequence well the funnel doesn't need to stop there we call that if it stops there we just call it a landing page funnel or an opt-in funnel but many people go beyond that they'll collect that email they'll send that cheat sheet and then they'll offer them something they'll say you know what i have this shake there'll be a whole sales page or one time offer and they'll say i'm offering this great shake that i've been using um you know i'm going to offer it to you and they may even have an offer in there they may even um after the person clicks to get the the shake they may go a step further and upsell and say hey if you buy three months worth of this shake i'll give you one month for free so buy three get one buy four you get one free um maybe the person says no i don't want that so then you have a down sell and they might say well since you don't want the shake maybe you would like this hydrate product that we have that'll help you so you're constantly going through the funnel and looking to sell the person and then in the end of course you say thank you but think about it if you were in a retail store, a brick and mortar, you have a funnel. You, that's your funnel, the person walking through. So in online, you need to have a sales funnel. It just doesn't make sense not to, right? So everybody's would look different. You get to design it. <clears throat> you get to create that journey that you want your customer to go on. This is a very simple one but you can make it as complicated as you want. You can make as many offers as you want. And that's what's cool about marketing online and creating a sales funnel. You don't physically have to keep talking to those people. They're in the automated system and they push buttons and they take themselves on the journey that you have mapped out. So that's what a sales funnel journey looks like. And again, I have a course below. If you've never built a funnel, um, I take you through the steps to build your first funnel. And it's a very basic one, but it will help you get a clearer understanding of what a funnel is. I also have below that a 30 day challenge, one funnel away, um, presented by Russell Brunson. You can sign up for that, which actually takes you into a more complicated funnel. And it's training every single day where you can go in and, and have action behind it. So you've got a free course, 30 day funnel, take your choice. I highly recommend both, but that's up to you. All right. Thank you for listening today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel where I am here to help you earn money, save time, and find balance in your life, just so you can take your life back. I think most of us are tired of working for other people. Other people tell us when we have to be there from eight to five or nine to five. Creating your own business online allows you the opportunity to create your life the way you want it, but you've got to put in the foundational work before you get to the point that you can quit your job. There's things that have to be done and it takes time, especially if you have a family because you're gonna have less time each day to work on it. Don't ever sacrifice your time with your family to make any business. Uh, no amount of money is worth that. So just take a little bit longer and it's okay, but it, but it can happen. Um, keep watching and I promise you to keep giving you videos that are gonna help you achieve that.